Well, I'm going to do an unboxing video here. It's a zoo, obviously. I got the dog lapping up water in the background and the cat jumped up in front of my box I was going to open. And I'm really tired. I'm over here rubbing my face because I just got off work and it's late. So, that's a cat. That's a new cat. Maybe I'll make a video on her later. But I got some uh, goodies for for the Jeep. For the for the Jeep, not the heap. So let's get this thing out of the way here. Put her back there. Rusty's off road. Anybody that uh, knows Jeeps or Cherokees probably recognizes that name. So my current plan is getting the front axle back into shape. Not the dog axle, but the driveline axle. Jeez, chuck it. Got some giant metal staples. So, I saw uh, Pearson BA350's uh, last, I don't know, video or a while, a little bit ago. Went to the junkyard, I pulled some axle shafts out, so that's all going along with this. Just got off work, trying to relax. So, first off, I think I know what this is. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, it's probably dark. Can't see. This whole video is probably going to be dark. Spicer. U joints. Those are the big. Because we can't see as usual. Oh, cat and dog are playing now. Big 760 joints. These are replacement joints for the older 297 size. Cat's rubbing on the tripod there. Uh, this is the upgrade for the older 297 size joints. My Jeep currently has the 260 size joints, so that's why I grabbed those new axle shafts from the junkyard. So, but these are even stronger than what's in that axle shaft now. Ooh. So, shouldn't, hopefully won't break those. Then, what else we got in here? Oh, yeah. Alright. Yeah, goodies. Sometimes the freebies are better than what you pay hundreds of dollars for. Oh, my knife on me. There we go. Little fillet knife. Ready? Oh yeah. Got the old uh, Rusty's Offroad.com sticker. Cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Don't know if that'll go on the. Actually on the Jeep or not, but. I like freebies. Yep, what we got? Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. We got the old uh, advertisement there. Nice looking. Uh, XJ Cherokee on the front there, looking pretty good. That's pretty close to what I'd like mine to look like. You know, eh, I could deal with that. It's getting there. This is just a little flyer for their suspensions and bumper and different things. I don't know if I've ever actually used any Rusty's products. I know I've bought from them before. Another nice cool sticker. I'm trying to make sure you can see that. Got white letter across the bottom there. Mm -hmm. And we got <laughs> nice the old warning label saying this vehicle is modified and it could roll over and it doesn't handle like a stock vehicle. Oh, they, yeah, and they're nice. Look at that. Two more stickers. All right, I like these guys. All right. Oh, Let's throw everything on the ground. Pick that up. And the highlights box. 
Do, 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 do. I went with the cheaper lock right front locker. My lock or my front axle is currently open. Just an open diff. Never had a locker in the front. It's already got the 456 gears in there, but no locker. The rear's got an ARB, and as much as I would love to put another ARB in the front, I just can't afford it right now. So this is a good budget way. Plus these lockers for the Dana 30 front axle are only $220 right now. So you really can't go wrong. It's about a hundred bucks cheaper than normal. Oh, look at that. Another sticker. Woo, it's a shiny one. And got an owner's manual. Empty cardboard. These really have nothing to them. All they do is go inside the stock carrier and replace the side gears. Side gears or spider gears? I don't remember. But yeah, there's not much to them. Let's show you what's, what's in there. So, this is basically. God, this video is probably dark, huh? Trying to get the light in there. So, these are the pieces that go inside the stock, uh, stock carrier. These are basically replace the side gears because that's where your axle shaft would go. And then, however, they work by the Grace of magic, if that's a term, they just kind of, uh, you might hear them ratcheting when you go around corners, but once you need the power, it's locked up, and you've got uh, full power to both your front axes. So, there's two of these, one for each side. So I can come with a new center pin. I don't know if that's required or not. So I don't know what would wrong, be wrong with the stock one. Maybe it's just a stronger one. And then we got a little spring kit in here. A couple different sizes of springs. I have no idea how they work yet. A couple pins in there. don't know what those do. So That's all through the instructions. So that's the unboxing video for now. Better cut this off now before I make it too long. I'll try and make uh, more videos actually putting this stuff in and actually upgrading that front axle. And I really want to start four wheeling and doing stuff with that Jeep again. So that's the plan.